Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Christy Smurl. Today I'm going to be starting the first of a series of videos on yoga. What yoga is, what yoga is not. Today I'm going to briefly discuss Ashtanga Yoga. Not the physical practice of Ashtanga Yoga, but Ashtanga, Ashta, eight, Anga, limbs. The eight limbs of yoga as described in Patanjali's Yoga Sutras. So we understand that the first limb of yoga, the science of yoga, are the yamas. And the yamas are things that we abstain from in order to propel us towards liberation and towards fulfilling our dharma quicker with more ease and grace. Things like not harming others, not lying, not stealing. I'll cover all five in another video. The second limb of yoga are the niyamas, the observances, the things that we want to try to be disciplined to do in order to move forward faster in our yogic path towards self-realization. So things like purity, contentment, discipline, I'll cover those in another video as well. Our third limb are the asanas or the physical yoga poses. Asanas, physical poses in yoga, are performed in order to stabilize the mind-body connection, the mind-breath-body connection, to create space within the body for prana or life force, to create openings and allowance within our body for our soul to be enlivened from within our flesh. Our fourth limb of yoga is pranayama. Pranayama are specific yogic breath techniques that are used for a variety of different reasons. Some change our metabolism. Some are used to control the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system in very specific manners. But when we do pranayama, we begin to stabilize the mind. When we stabilize the mind, we can then move forward in to our eight limbs of yoga towards our ultimate goal of meditation and self-realization. So breath, awareness, and breath practice techniques are very important, not only to strengthen us, but also to purify us of many things. The fifth limb of yoga is pratyahara, or withdrawal of our senses. So we have many senses, our vision, our smell, our taste, our hearing, our touch. When we are using our sense organs to attach to outer stimuli, outer desires and aversions, our prana is moving outward. When we withdraw our sense organs and bring our focus inward, we have more prana more concentration, and more steadiness and stillness to reach our meditative goal. The sixth limb is dharana, concentration. This is very important that we learn how to control and train our minds in concentrative meditation. Usually that involves focusing on a primary object, and there's a lot of different techniques to achieve this so that we can move to the seventh limb of yoga, which is dhyana, actual meditation proper, stillness, silentness, being undistracted and undisturbed by inner or outer distractions. And at that point, we can eventually lead towards the eighth limb of yoga, which is samadhi, full super consciousness, not consciousness of the mind's knowledge or the mind activity, but stilling the mind so that we are accessing the vijnanamaya kosha, the soul's intelligence, not the chatter of the itty bitty committee in the brain 
but true deep connection with our soul and the soul's intelligence and guidance so that we can become enlivened with our soul. Remember that the quality of the soul in everybody is pure, pure divinity, but the quantity is not the same in everybody. We must cultivate it and awaken it. And the eight limbs of yoga, Ashtanga yoga, is one of the approaches to doing that. So I hope this has been a helpful video. I will be posting this on my YouTube link and I'll put that link in the comments or the description of this video. And if you like this video, please like it, subscribe, share, and I will be back soon with the next in the series. Namaste, everybody.